bathroom so dry could do with a glass of water. It's actually making my jaw ache. Eh? Hello, welcome back to a very, 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 very cold Rob and reviews in the workplace. God, cold today, man. It's absolutely, I've even had to leave my hat on. It's that cold today. But we've got something that maybe, just maybe, might warm us up. We have cold fresh spicy fried chickpeas pound bargain for a uh, half a big bag as you can see proud to be indian proud to be number one indian snack brand co fresh i've seen these um co fresh products around a lot in the asian supermarkets i visit on a regular basis so i normally pick up something i think i've done nuts i've done other stuff before but it says the word spicy so you know me, it's got to be picked up, it's got to be done. So, let's have a quick gander on the back. New glassy look. Spicy fried chickpeas. Ingredients, there is four, four, three, four, four ingredients. Chickpeas, rapeseed oil, chilli powder and salt. Plain, simple, easy to get on board with. Right, our guarantee, we take every care to ensure that our products reach our customers in perfect conditions, all quality issues may suppose you should just by writing to us. Suitable for vegetarians, as always. Additional statement, tartazine, quinoa and polkini R4 may have adverse effects on the attention and activity in children. So it doesn't contain those, so I don't know why they put that on there, which is a bit worrying. Small children can choke on nuts. We know, saying the thing. Uh, they've got other varieties which are actually listed on the back with the ingredients. I don't understand why they've done that, but we've got salted roasted peanuts, exotic mix, chin chin mix, chiroa mix, Punjabi mix, Bombay mix, and monkey nuts. So less talking, more eating so get my trusty man watch your fingers rock we all know uh, you have a habit of slicing your fingers off every now and again if you ever watched that video that was painful slicing through fudge and uh, I literally took the end of my finger off I think that's I don't know if you can see the scar on him it's got a little tiny scar well, slice the end of my finger off during one of these videos. So anyway, cold fresh spicy fried chickpeas. These are going to be like bullets. They don't smell too spicy. They just smell like a plain thing. I'd probably prefer a bit of a Bombay mix type smell. But here we go. I'm not going to have a massive fan of these because like I said, I've got a feeling these are going to be like bullets. They're like little rabbit droppings, I suppose. Right, let's give it one and see how hard they are. So, here we are for cold fresh spicy fried chickpeas. And very bland. Them soft. When I say soft, not soft. Softer than I thought they were going to be. There isn't much taste. They're actually quite difficult to eat. I'm 
so dry, you could do with a glass of water. It's actually making my jaw ache. Um, I'm going to try another small handful and see if I can get a bit. There's no spice at all, no heat, no nothing. There's not a real flavour to them either. India's number one snack brand. Sorry, number one Indian. Definitely, definitely not the best. I mean, I like Bombay mix. I like the other mixes of Indian stuff that is always there. But then, the max is not nice to eat. And they're very, very dry. So, I don't know what else to say, apart from them not nice. Cold fresh, spicy fried chickpeas. Zero flavour, zero heat. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Zip. There's not, there's no flavour to them at all. There's no heat. There's nothing. There's just, I'm just bland completely. So if you ever see cold fresh spicy fried chickpeas on a supermarket shelf, I advise not to buy. They're definitely not. They're not flavoursome, they've got no flavour at all, them so, but I've said it a few times now, they're so bland, they're quite difficult to eat because they're dry, there's not even a bit of spice to lift it up, they're just, it's just nothing, there's nothing there, so that gets a massive, massive thumbs down from Rob, I'm probably going to put them straight in the bin. I'm a person I, I, I have showed John and he said he'll try them, but I'm not even going to put him through the torture of eating those because they're not good. Not good at all. Sorry, Cold Fresh. I very rarely, rarely slate products. I always try and find a positive in something that's not great, apart from the vegan jerky that was just terrible all day long. Um, but your spicy fried chickpeas, I'm not spicy. They're probably fried, they're definitely chickpeas, but there's no flavour at all. They're just bland, boring, nothing. So, cold fresh spicy fried chickpeas for a pound. I wouldn't pay 10 pence for them. Now I've tasted them. Um, get a zero for flavour, absolutely no flavour at all, and a zero for heat. I think that's the first time in a long time, if ever, you've got two zeros. So, Sorry, Cold Fresh. Anyway, that was my review of Cold Fresh Not So Spicy Fried Chickpeas. So thank you very much for watching. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell when you hit the subscribe button. Oh, excuse me. My throat's so dry now. So where was I? Oh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. When you hit the subscribe button, don't forget the notification bell. Click on and you will get every single notification from me, Rob, uh, Rob Tomei. So, so from Co-Fresh, they yeah, am quite fresh, I'll give them that. Uh, spicy fried chickpeas, and me, Rob. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.